welcome to the second issue of the Ashcan. Let's get started. We got a lot to cover. It's a special Comic Con uh, edition. Uh, San Diego Comic Con was this week, so we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible to try and not to bore everyone to death as I did in my last episode. So here we go. We have the clown loving psychiatrist gets her own book. Everybody's favorite vanishing elf returns. And is a room in your heart for two Norse gods? That and more in this issue of the Ash Game. For the love of God, I thought it was about comic books. Seems to me that we're so far off track at these comic cons, it's not even worth it. I mean, we have four major announcements of some sort of movie. Um, we have TV shows and, and stuff I could care less about. What happened to comic books and major announcements for comic books? It just feels to me like it's getting cheapening, and uh, the whole the whole system just it's it's all about money now, and it's kind of losing its touch. Uh, for me, uh, personally, probably your local Comic-Con would be your best when it comes to comic book related stuff. If you want, you know, How I Met Your Mother and the Big Bang Theory news, you might check out the San Diego Comic-Con that happens every year. Just my opinion. There was some news that came out, kind of uh, underlining uh, some of the movies uh, that are the big news, but we'll cover the big movies uh, anyway. So, here we go. We had uh, uh, Superman, uh, Batman was probably the biggest talk at Comic-Con. Uh, everyone's you know, discussing how that's going to play out. The personal opinion, if Superman was to ever hit Batman in the face, he would be dead. Uh, Superman is, has the strength of, you know, a local motive, and Batman is just a dude. So if they ever were to really fight, uh, Superman would kill Batman in about two seconds. Uh, into that movie, uh, let's move on. Uh, we have uh, The Avengers 2, uh, Age of Ultron coming out, which does sound quite interesting, but I did hear that there's no Hank Pym, so uh, I'm not real sure how that's going to play out. I guess it's not going to follow the comic book that was out this year, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a great movie, nevertheless. Uh, we also have uh, Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier. Uh, that should be interesting. Uh, I'm not real sure how they're going to they're gonna play that up, but uh, I'll watch that as well. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is also announced. Uh, they talked about maybe being a little more lighthearted in this Marvel movie. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, Marvel's got a pretty good track record so far, so I'm not going to say anything bad about it. Uh, as far as the uh, TV shows went for this Comic Con, uh, we had Walking Dead Season 4, uh, which I am not a fan. I, I really don't watch the show, but after watching the trailer, maybe I should because it looked pretty cool. And I hear they're going to. Uh, maybe smarten up the zombies a little bit this season to make it a, a little more uh, frightening for the people who have kind of got used to uh, the zombies being, uh, you know, everybody's used to it, they know how to kill them, so I think maybe they're going to change that up this season, which I'm sure people who watch will love that, so uh, we have that to look forward to. We also have Agents of uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, that's coming out. Uh, I'm on the fence. Uh, hopefully, I mean, it'll be good. Uh, I kind of feel like this is a... Um, Marvel shot at you know milking the cow, so we'll see. Uh, but again, I'll probably watch that, and we'll see where it goes from there. Also, X Men: Days of Future Past. Uh, big announcement for that was that the Sentinels will actually make an appearance uh, in this X Men, which is very cool, and I, I can't wait to see how they they pull it off. Uh, the the movie itself probably halfway decent. Uh, most of those have been so far. Now let's talk about the important stuff comic books. Uh, so finally, uh, we have Harvey Quinn, who is actually one of the DC characters that I might actually give two craps about, uh, is finally getting her own book. Uh, she has a nice uh, sense of humor um, about her, so maybe that book will be a little more lighthearted than the uh, darker stuff that DC's been putting out lately. Hopefully it doesn't go too campy though, uh, you know, and she becomes DC's version of Deadpool. And uh, it should be good though. I think uh, Amanda, Con Amanda Connor and uh, Jimmy pa Pamietto or Pamietto or however you say it, I think they're the two that are behind this, so that should be interesting to watch out. Uh, of course, uh, Nightcrawler is coming back, uh, coming back from the dead apparently in the amazing uh, X Men issue one. 
So I'm sure that'll be a hot seller. Make sure you guys check that out. I know I will be. Also, I talked earlier about two Norse gods. So uh, Walt, uh, Walt Simonson, uh, who was uh, the driving force behind the 80s uh, surge of Thor, is coming back to do a uh, IDW book called Ragnarok, which will be a Thor-based uh, book. So it'll be interesting to see um, his style and take on the actual Thor story and, and, and how similar it will run parallel with the Marvel book. Uh, I'm not real sure how they're going to get away with that, but we'll see. And uh, If it's any reflection on the stuff that Walt's done in the past, I'll be sure to check it out and it'll be a regular that comes to my house. Now let's talk about books coming out this week. Uh, we have Batman Superman number two. Um, I know I talked about it last time a little begrudgingly, but I'm probably going to give it another chance. So make sure you guys do too. It's probably not going to be that bad. Uh, we have Superior Spider-Man uh, Team Up number one coming out. If, there's, if you're looking for a book that you want to start to follow, maybe that's a good one to pick up on. Uh, it looks like he's going to team up with a lot of people. Maybe a pretty good read all in all. Um, Uncanny Avengers number 10 uh, is going to be pretty hot this week. So make sure you pick that up. Uh, see what else do I have? Um, had a quick question. Uh, My Little Pony number 9 comes out this week. Looks like it's getting extreme pulls. Don't know why. I don't know what the deal is with this uh, My Little Pony fascination, but if anybody can clue me in on maybe something I'm missing, that would be awesome because I am lost. And finally for my strange pick of the week, I'm going to go with Anti-Heroes number 2. It's a uh, monkey brain comic. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you pick up issues 1 and 2. I believe issue 1 is like 99 cents. Uh, issue 2 is fairly close to the same price. Pick it up. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an interesting read um, for everybody. Also, uh, I think each time I film one of these issues, what I'm going to do is, is give an artist that I'm kind of checking out and uh, uh, and maybe you guys can check out some of the artwork they're doing as well. Uh, this issue is going to be Greg Horn. Um, he's done stuff for just about every major comic book and independent comic book publishing company out there. He does amazing work. He does a lot of cover art. Uh, so check him out, uh, go to his website, I'll put it down here at the bottom, follow him on Twitter, check out his stuff. Hopefully I'll get the meeting when I go to the Cincinnati Comic Expo coming up in uh, September, I believe it is. Uh, so that would be kind of awesome to maybe get him on and, and do a little interview with him if he'd be willing to do so. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this issue of the Ash Can. Guys, uh, uh, as you know, we also have a lot of other 8-Bit Freaks Productions uh, shows going on right now. We have Second Chance with Cody Springer and his special guest here and there. We also have uh, The Greatest of All Time, which features myself, Cody Springer. And we usually just do like a top 10 list of either something new, something retro. It's usually something retro. Uh, make sure you guys are checking that out as well. I'll put up some addresses here, some emails, uh, stuff like that. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter. Uh, we have a Twitter account set up. It's looking pretty good. we got some followers, so it'd be great. The more people we get, the better it is. Uh, please, guys, let us know if we're doing a good job, if we're doing crap, if the shows are boring, if the shows are too long, too short. You know, If there's something you guys want to see, man, drop us a line. We'd love to know because we do put a lot of work into these shows. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.